Good day, grade 9 math learners. For today, we're going to learn about solving oblique triangles. What is an oblique triangle? Oblique triangles class are triangles that are not right, such as acute and obtuse triangles. As we recall, acute triangle is a triangle that has three acute angles, while obtuse triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle. So these angles are classified as oblique triangles. We can solve oblique triangles in two ways. We can use law of sines or law of cosines. But we need to identify first class what type of case is the given. There are five cases. Case 1 to 5. Case 1 to 3, you must use law of signs in solving these problems. While for case 4 to 5, you will use law of cosines. Now we're going to learn what are given that are classified by case 1, 2, and 3. And what are the cases that are considered case 4 and 5. So let's try to learn first case 1. Case 1 given is angle angle side. You will use a law of sign in solving case 1. So if the given is two angles and one side and that side is opposite with one angles then we will use law of sign. So as you can see in the problem given two angles and given one side opposite to one of these angles so the same with an obtuse triangle given two angles and one side opposite to one of these angles so in this case in this kind of giving we will use law of signs case two for case two given it is classified as angle side angle if the given class has two angles and one side, but that side is in between these angles, then this belongs to case 2 given. And for case 2 given, we will use law of signs as well. So on the given illustration, you can see two angles and one side. It is important that you will know what type of given is that so would you will know what law you're going to use for case 3 for case 3 class the given is side side angle so given two sides and one angle opposite either of the two sides so for this illustration we can see that the given uh, is angle side b and side c and one opposite angle and that angle is opposite with side C. While on the other triangle, you can see given two sides and one opposite angle. This case class is sometimes called as ambiguous case. Why? Because it is possible that the solution to this case is not unique or there are two solutions or no solution at all. So you must be careful in solving this kind of Problem. Let's proceed to case 4. For case 4, you need to use law of cosines this time. If the given is side angle side, meaning given two sides and one included angle, meaning the angle between these two sides, like this class, so the given two sides and one included angle between these two sides then this kind of given is classified as case 4. So you need to use the law of cosines in solving this problem. For case 5, the last but not the least. This is very easy. Side 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 meaning the given under problem are the three sides of the triangle. So if this is the given, then 
it is classified as case 5 and you will use law of cosines in solving this problem. So for today's lesson class, we're just going to focus our attention on law of signs. So what are the problems that are classified as case 1, 2, and 3 and how are we going to use the law of signs in solving this kind of problem? So please watch the next clip. For case 1 to 3 class, you're going to use Law of Signs. What is stipulated in Law of Signs? It says, in any oblique triangle ABC with A, B, and C as its sides and with angle A, angle B, and angle C as its angles, then you will use this formula. Sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C or you can have the inverse class A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Whatever formula you're going to use either the first one or the second one, you will arrive at the same answer. So let's try to use this law of signs in solving some problems. Let's proceed with Example number 1. Solve for side B. Given angle A is 59 degrees, angle B equals 72 degrees, and side A equals 10 degrees. You must be careful class because when it is capitalized, if the letter is capital, then it means angle. And if the letter is a small one, then that means it is the side. So we're going to illustrate this problem into a triangle so that we could know class which case this problem belongs. Yes, you are right. This problem is a case 1 problem since the given is two angles and one side opposite to one of them. So we will use the law of sine. So we will use this formula class sine a over a equals sine b over b we will just use this in this equality because the involved here are only angle a and angle b so we will now substitute the given sine angle a is 59 degrees over a and uh, and side a is 10 equals sine B is 72 degrees over, and that's what we're going to look for, which is the side B. So, there. So, what we're going to do, class, we're just going to cross multiply. Then, it will become sine 59 degrees times B. And sine 72 degrees times 10, it is equal to 9.51 and to solve for B, you must divide it with sine 59. So cancel out sine 59 in this side. So the only thing that remains here class is your B. So 9.51 divided by sine 59 degrees. Then the answer is 11.095 units. And I want you to box your final answer. Now let us proceed to example number 2. Solve the other parts of the triangle given A, angle A equals 40 degrees, side A equals 10 degrees, and side B equals 7. So again class, first thing that you're going to do, you must illustrate the given and decipher what type of case is this. So the given is angle A, side A, and side B. So this problem is side side angle. Two sides and one angle opposite to one of this side. So I want you to decipher class what kind of case is this? Case 1, case 2, or case 3? Yes, you are right. This is a case 3 problem. So since this belongs to case 3 problem, then we will use the law of sine. So the only thing that involves here class are 
side A and side side A and side B. Meaning, we're going to use the in the equality sine A over A equals sine B over B. And the problems ask us class to solve the other parts of the triangle. Meaning, we're going to solve here side C, angle C, and angle B. So let's start with solving angle B. So let's try now to substitute the given to our formula. Sine A is 40 degrees. Side A is 10. And B is, that's what we are looking for. And side B is 7. Then you're going to cross multiply. So sine 40 degrees sine 40 degrees times 7 and sine b times 10 so what you're going to do class since we are looking for sine b here we're going to divide it by by 10 so i will write it in this manner so that we will not be confused so sine b you will calculate sine 40 degrees times 7 divided by 10 and the answer there here class is 0 0.4499 i'm very sorry for that handwriting then since we are going to solve for angle b then we, we will get the inverse sine so b equals sine inverse sine of 0 0.4499 and I want, I want you to solve that. So, inverse sine of that answer. And since we are looking for degrees, you can also have the degrees class. So, angle B is 26.741 degrees. And you must box your final answer for that. So, we already solved for angle B. And you can also class have this one as in a degrees, degree form. You will just press the degree button on your calculator so that this number will become 26 degrees, 44 minutes, and 26.02 seconds. You can also have this problem. But we will accept this, the angle, the decimal form, and we will also accept the degree form. And next, we're going to solve for the other parts. We already solved the angle B. Now we will use now the idea of the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So as we recall on the given, it says here, a is 40 degrees and we already solved our B. So we will just uh, substitute that one to our given equation. So angle A is 40 degrees and angle B is 26.741 degrees. And we are looking for angle C. The measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. You add class 40 plus 26.741, that is 66.741 degrees, plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. And you transpose 66.741 degrees to the other side of the equation, so it will become measure of angle C equals 180 degrees minus... 66.741 degrees so meaning the measure of angle c is 113.259 degrees and box your final answer now we are down to the last part of the triangle which is the side c in solving the side c class we're going to use the the combination of sine b over b equals sine c over c but if you're going to ask me miss what if we are going to use the sine a over a equals sine 
C over C, yes, you can also do that class and we will still arrive at the same answer. So, sine B, our B is 26.741 degrees over, over 7. And our C, our angle C, we already saw our angle C which is sine 113.259 degrees over side C which is what we are looking for. Then we will cross multiply class. So it will become C times sine 26.741 degrees equals sine 113.259 degrees times 7. Then you will just divide it by sine 26.741 degrees so that we can cancel this out and you will also divide sine 26.741 degrees on the other side. So the only thing that remains here is the side C. Then you calculate class. Sine 113.259 degrees times 7 divided by sine 26.741. And the answer there is 14.293 14 units. And that is now the final answer. So box your final answer class. So, we already solved the three missing parts of this triangle. Now, let's going to proceed to example number three. Solve the other parts of the triangle given angle A is 48 degrees, side C is 440, and angle B is 75 degrees. So, first things first class, we're going to illustrate first our given. So, the given here is two angles, angle A and angle B, and one side which the side is in between these two angles, meaning this side is an, is an included side. So, you determine class what kind of case or what type of case is the given. Two angles and one included side. Yes, you are right. This case is case 2. And since this belongs to case 2, then we will solve using the law of sine. So we will have the inequality or we will solve this one. We will use, we will solve first the third side or I mean the third angle using the two angle measures. So we will use the concept of Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. We know class that the sum of all interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So we will use that idea or that concept. So we will substitute angle A is 48 degrees and angle B is 75 degrees and we are looking for angle C equals 180 degrees. You add 48 degrees plus 75 degrees, the answer there is 123 degrees plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. You transpose 123 degrees to the other side so it will become measure of angle C equals 180 degrees minus 123 degrees and the answer there is 57 degrees and that is now the measure of angle C and don't forget to box your final answer and we now solve angle C so the remaining parts of the triangle that we need to solve is side A and side B so we will now use the law of sine formula in solving the remaining parts of the triangle. So since class the given side is only side C, then we will use the inequality sine A over A equals sine C over side C. Because there's no, you cannot solve this problem using the combination of sine A and sine B because there's no side A and side B. 
So we will substitute now. Sine A is 48 degrees. And side A, that's what we're looking for. Sine C, the C there is 57 degrees from what we have solved earlier. And we are looking for, yeah, and side C is 440 units. Then you cross multiply class. So it will become sine 48 degrees times 440 equals sine 57 degrees times A. Since we are looking for A, we're going to divide this one with sine 57 degrees. And we will going to solve directly for the answer. So you multiply sine 48 degrees times 440 divided by sine 57 degrees and the answer there is 389.883 units. And you must box your final answer. And now we unlock the second part of the triangle which is side A. Angle C check, angle A check, and now we are down to or side B. So in solving for side B, we will use the combination sine A over A equals sine B over B. But you can also use the combination class of sine C over C equals sine B over B. You can also use that. We will arrive at the same answer. So for this, we will have sine 48 degrees over we have solved side a which is 389.883 units and angle b is 75 degrees and we are looking for side b you cross multiply class so it will become sine 48 degrees times b equals sine 75 degrees times 389.883 units then since we are looking for side b here we will divide the whole inequality with sine 48 degrees so that we can cancel sine 48 degrees on this side of the equation so the only thing that will remains here will be side b and you calculate sine 75 degrees times 300 89.883 units divided by sine 48 degrees. What will be your answer? The answer class is 506.763 units. So, again, box your final answer. And that's it class. Let's recall, you all, we already solved. The measure of angle C is 57 degrees. The measure of side A is 389.883 units. And the measure for side B is 506.763 units. And now we so already solve for the all parts of the triangle. And that will be the end class of this video. And Hope you have learned something for today and you are now ready to answer the formative assessment. Thank you everyone and see you on the next video.